Greetings, guide bushing gurus and greenhorns. I'm Scott with Jen Swiss, technical supervisor. And I'm Bill Fletcher. I'm the Northeast Regional Sales Manager. And today we have the opportunity to talk about the Utilities Multi Deck 3000 Series program. Yeah, the Multi Deck Cut Series is a Swiss style turning system uh, dedicated specifically for Swiss style machines. Uh, the type of insert that it utilizes. Uh, kind of harkens back to some of the original uh, watchmaking tools over 100 years ago. It's wow. the style that uh, that these inserts are. Uh, and these are uh, modernized, of course, for the uh, the types of applications that people are encountering in their you know modern high technology CNCs. Uh, but this is uh, one of the core products here at Gen Swiss and also one of the main product offerings from our partner utilities. And this is a go-to line. This has every application under the sun. I believe there's seven different categories covering every specific turning application. Yep, it's a full range system. Uh, go, you can use it for, uh, for cutoff, uh, for front turn, for back turn, for grooving, for threading. Uh, and then uh, again, we kind of get into some of the specialty operations. We even do have full radius grooving as a standard uh, product. seven line. Yes. What about coatings? These come commonly available in the uh, HPX coating, which is kind of what we consider our general purpose grade. Okay. Um, that uh, runs the gamut from titanium to stainless to non-ferrous. You could utilize it on just about anything except for certain plastics. Uh, right. And then uh, if you're in a high performance situation and you want to get better performance on uh, like a 316L or 6AL4V, or even like maybe 465, some of those uh, more tricky ones, you could step up to the TX Plus grade, which is uh, very high performance. Uh, and then in uh, special situations, remember I mentioned uh, HPX isn't good for plastic, we could do a, a okay. DXT, which is like a diamond-like coating uh, for non-ferrous, uh, for very high performance uh, in uh, things like uh, uh, composites and plastics and peak, medical peak is a good, Situation Which are all like very that. abrasive, but that's specific to that coating and does exactly what it's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. yeah, great. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, using some extremely advanced uh, manufacturing technology, folks at Utilities have been able to develop some absolutely incredibly unique geometries and chip breakers. Yeah, so there's actually a very wide range of chip breakers available on these. Some of them are more traditional where they're ground in, mm -hmm. but they've also got some combinations of, uh, of molded and ground together. Uh, which do some uh, pretty marvelous uh, control of stringy materials, which is kind of where a lot of this product shines, is in materials where you're going to have a hard time breaking a chip, but at least you can control it using these geometries. And some of them will fold, some of them will roll, some will divert. I mean, there's basically a geometry for every specific application. The, the great thing is one holder accommodates all the different geometries available in the program. So the holder could be utilized as a cutoff holder for one day, mm -hmm. uh, maybe down the road, you know, as a threading holder or a grooving holder. Um, it's all uh, one pocket design does all the different operations. So all 3000 series inserts fit all 3000 series holders. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's mm -hmm. excellent. Nice. It's a, it, it is a very unique uh, design, the, uh, the pocket series where every insert is designed specifically to fit into the handle utilizing the pocket technology that has been created. What makes it kind of unique is that when the inserts are placed into the holder, the positive boss, which is located on the insert itself, um, actually has a home. So that is where it gets placed into the holder. There, it only goes in one way, it fits in there very nicely, and it doesn't utilize any of the other geometry in the insert. Yeah, it's specifically designed to uh, uh be a rigid holding system first and foremost uh, in the way that the insert locates into the pocket, but also any of the cutting edges aren't used as a qualified surface. So all of the cutting edges are clear when in that pocket. So if an edge ends up getting lost, it's not being used as the locating surface. So on uh, the holders, you can see there's a couple of qualified edges or qualified surfaces rather, I should say, mm -hmm. uh, where the carbide mounts up against. Um, these are really where what's doing all the locating, that and the, and the pocket built into the carbide itself. So literally the set screws, the only purpose for the set screws is to actually hold the insert in position and let the boss do all the work. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent. Correct. And what's really unique here, there's a great example where you have a complete insert here with both edges intact, brand new. And here's a primary example of what can happen. You can lose an edge with one of these systems, and yet you won't lose the second edge and you won't lose the holder. Um, utilizing the design of that insert, how that boss sets in that pocket, it's being held in there. And if there is a failure, and they will happen, um, the, the insert is specifically designed to yield at a place beyond the holder where you'll lose one edge only, protecting the second edge back here, and more importantly, protecting your holder. As I like to say to my customers, if you think losing in inserts are expensive, we just start replacing holders. That's really one of the key drivers of the Cut 3000 series is that the holders uh, are, uh, are, are safe during a failure. Um, you don't have to worry about replacing them because the way that the insert is located in there, it doesn't cause damage, it doesn't cause the, the pocket to, to deform. Deform, yes. If you're a viewer of a lot of our videos, we always kind of go into the, uh, the aspect of high pressure coolant being very important. Uh, so if we're on the subject of talking about chip control, uh, everybody knows the high pressure coolant is another valuable asset in that war against the, the chips. Um, so the entire line is also available as a, a coolant through uh, option uh, for the holders. So um, again, like the similar 1600 series system that we've talked about in other videos, um, there's multiple ports all on the holder. So depending on how you're orienting in the machine or what your machine layout is like, you're not gonna have trouble accessing a, uh, a port uh, built into the holder uh, in order to plumb the coolant up. Great, and that's a full line of uh, coolant through holders. You also have the avail availability of the utilities wedge program, which you can literally replace the wedge that came standard with your equipment, replacing it with a very highly focused, high pressure coolant delivery system, allowing you to use non-coolant through holders. You could pair so, any of your regular square shank holders you've already got up with that system. Yep. You know, lots That's of plumbing another, another and great lots, option. Of, lots of opportunities with different, we have just about everything under the sun as far as any, any of your plumbing needs. So if you're going to be moving coolant lines around, whether it's a, a single line, a banjo, uh, you know, a JIC, or, Quick release. You, or if you need a whole complete kit on hand, which is really convenient, um, we've got your plumbing needs covered. Mm -hmm. All completely compatible with the Cut 3000 series, of course. Beautiful. Yep. Yeah. Um, another strong point for the Cut 3000 series product line is cutoff. Um, given that the type of insert blanks that we're making the geometry from is yeah. a very long uh, piece of carbide, um, there's a lot of options in it for cutoff. And uh, cutoff is something that can sometimes be tricky depending on the application being worked on in the machine where you've got clearance issues with the guide bushing or your pickoff spindle coming if you've got a uh, coming in if you've got a, sh uh, a short part. Uh, and you need the to be able to get the insert down in there to be actually to separate it from the workpiece. Okay. Uh, there are holders available with offsets built into them in order to clear your work holding uh, so that you can actually get the insert in and actually in, in cut, uh, but actually also have the amount of support that you need to have uh, depending on the application, the small diameter or a short piece uh, or that sort of thing. So you pretty much are able to deliver the carbide to the part as you need to. Specifically. In an interference-free type situation, yep. Lots of uh, options. It gives you more options yep. uh, to solve those kinds of challenges. Yeah, excellent. Absolutely excellent. Well, thanks, Bill. Well, thank you, Scott. I think we covered everything. <laughs> <laughs>